eBay have just sent me an offer to sell pre-owned clothing for free until the end of December as a business seller. Somebody's quaking in their boots, boots, boots. The battle is well and truly underway between eBay and Vinted. Vinted has been around for a little while now and has slowly but surely been coming up the ranks until recently where it rapidly started taking lots and lots of different categories away from eBay. How did eBay respond to this? They gave all private sellers completely free selling on their app, telling business sellers that their perk was the fact that these people selling might actually buy something from you. Reaganomics is what that is. That didn't work either, did it? How did Vinted respond to that? They just dropped the Moab and went boom! Vinted Pro for all you businesses. And guess what? Fee free. You ain't paying a penny. No, no, no. And how have eBay responded to that? It's the 9th of October today and they have just released a message saying business sellers are allowed to sell pre-owned clothing for free until the end of December. Vinted jabbing. eBay comes in with a right hook with the fee free for private sellers but also takes one on the chin because they screw over businesses in lots of people's eyes. Vinted respond with another cheeky left jab. eBay come back with a right hook. But it misses. I think. I think it missed. There are people who have jumped ship from eBay when it comes to selling clothing and have moved over to Vinted entirely. Do I see them capitalising on fee free for the next three months? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. They might start spreading their eggs a little bit and cross-listing. But if you are one of these people that have transitioned from eBay selling clothing all the way to Vinted, just bear in mind that once this promotion period finishes, you're going to have listings on eBay that you're going to have to take down and relist to Vinted if you don't cross-list. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So just don't take everything off and bang it on eBay. If you're going to do anything, cross-list, because once this fee period's up, it's up. All right. Because once this fee period is up, it's up. But what's their next move? What's going to come next after that? Hmm? What do we think? What's Vinted Pro going to do? More nothing now. Vinted Pro can't do anything more. Because it's done. It's fee free for businesses. You know? Is it now going to become the battle of the buyer protection fee? Because eBay are going to be bringing in the buyer protection fee in quarter one, I do believe, of 2025. Meaning... If they implement the buyer fee like Vinted, does that mean all of our fees across the board are gone? Businesses and private? Surely that's what needs to happen. There's no incentive otherwise. Everyone who's a business seller who sells clothing and any category that Vinted offers, they will just go over there. They will. If you're collecting fees from buyers and the seller, there's going to be a lot of people who will just go, see ya. So what's the next move? I don't know. I've no idea. I think, I feel like Vinted have done all they can do now. Obviously, upgrade the app performance and all these kinds of things, which is what most tech companies do regardless. That's what they are. They're a tech company at the end of the day. They run a platform. They're not logistics, none of that. And you would have seen this with eBay over the years. Every time you get an app update and they fix something that didn't need fixing. So what's eBay's next move after this? Are they going to see how well it works and then maybe stick businesses on fee free for clothing forever because if they do is it going to make a difference wait, wait, wait. i don't know i'm not sure but i thought it was a very interesting email to get this morning it just feels like there is going to be a constant battle between these two until something either implodes and one of them's gone i mean ebay i can't see ebay ever disappearing for good ever there's far too many categories on there and audience wise but i did look into this actually let me get some statistics sir because bearing in mind not everybody sells internationally so when you think about just the uk market alone ebay and vinted isn't much difference i, I think it was something like 12 million versus 18 million on ebay 12 million vinted ebay 18 million how many uk users does ebay have we know that upwards of 17 million unique users visit and log on to eBay each day. Now let's look at Vinted. In the UK, Vinted has an astonishing 16 million users. So there's really not much between them, is there? Let's face it. So what I was saying about eBay, eBay will remain forever because it's worldwide. And people who do ship worldwide have that option to have their items in front of a worldwide audience. Could that be Vinted's next move? Offer some kind of global shipping service? GSS instead of GSP. 
could that be their next move? Will they acquire the help of a logistics company? Like I think eBay used Pitney Bow, or whatever they're called, Bow and Pitney. It's just very interesting to watch the battles between these two. And it's about time eBay had some competition, in my opinion. I like that. I like watching it. It forces companies to adapt, change, and be more in line with the current focus of the market at the moment from both buyers and sellers. Because when you have the monopoly for so long, you don't need to look at anything. You just sit back on your chair, smoke your cigar, drinking your pims if that's what you want to drink, and kick back while everyone just has to use your platform now vintage here saying come on come on come on personally i love to see it i love to see the battle going on it's great i use both platforms i think they're both fantastic for their own different reasons but it doesn't mean i can't be intrigued about what's happening at the moment and wanting to see some positive change from ebay i think it's needed i think it's about time it's been too long now that they've had full control over the game they needed this little kick up the bum i think and of course, there is always going to be conversation from both sides. Private sellers saying, well, you're a business, you should be sucking it up, buttercup, and you should have good enough accountants to equate for all these fees. And you've got business sellers saying, you're private, you shouldn't be selling for profit on there. You're making more money than me, which is also a dumb argument because all you're worried about is how much more somebody is making than you. You're not thinking about the statistics you're not thinking about the way that it affects and changes markets for both sides this is a good thing this battle is good we need those private sellers to be acting like a business and we need those business sellers to be cracking on and just moving forward and seeing what happens and adapting i.e jumping ship if necessary in order to make ebay change some things that have needed to change for a very long time time and of course we get good from all of it everybody does i think in the end this is going to be one of those situations which is going to be good for everyone it's going to be level across the field i think it's going to be one of those things where everybody's going to come in line and it's going to become a normal thing where buyers pay a little bit extra for protection or maybe they can even opt out and not pay any protection and then once it's gone it's gone that would just be a bit silly actually wouldn't it who knows? But all of this battle between businesses is in turn a good thing. It's needed. People are all shook up because they've never had this before because it's always been eBay, king, goat, god. And now you've got demigods coming up and trying to, trying to take over the place. So these battles and these fights are good and the arguments from privates and businesses are also very good. But you just need to keep them healthy. That's the most important thing. Don't despise a private seller and don't despise a business seller. Understand that both parties both have very valid points and reasons to how they feel about what is going on at the moment regarding fee structure. It'll be good for everyone in the end when the dust settles. So don't forget, if you are a business seller, go check your inbox because from today until the 31st of December, you can sell your pre-owned clothing for free on eBay. You can do it on Vinted too, but you can do it on eBay now. See you in a bit.